we are going to discuss the cell and its various organelles or components. We will also learn about the fundamental characteristics of cell structure and function. Has it ever occurred to you that there are many components in a typical cell which work in coordination to perform a particular cellular activity? Moreover, did you know cells can vary in structure but perform the same functions? The cell is the fundamental unit of life. It is membrane-bound and creates a unique and favourable environment which is different from the outside and is useful for performing various cellular activities necessary for survival of living beings. The above image illustrates a typical cell having various components or organelles with unique responsibilities. Such major components are 1. Cell membrane It is also known as plasma membrane and it protects the cell from injury or pathogen invasion. It also helps regulate the movement of substances inside and out of the cell. 2. Cell wall It is present in plant cells and protects the fragile cell from mechanical injury. 3. Nucleus This section contains the genome DNA, which is transferred over generations. 4. Cytoplasm it is a jelly-like substance, where the organelles are suspended. It is here that most of the chemical reactions occur. Cell organelles The specific tasks carried out by cells are done by their organelles. The sex of a specific person is determined by their chromosomes. The DNA and the nucleus are both shielded by the nuclear membrane from other cell organelles. The transport of materials inside the cell is aided by Golgi bodies. The endoplasmic reticulum aids in the creation of proteins, lipids and steroids, as well as in the metabolism of carbohydrates. The mitochondria function as a source of energy. Protein synthesis is assisted by ribosomes. The lysosome assists in clearing the body of foreign substances. Water, food and many types of waste are kept inside the cell in vacuoles. For photosynthesis to occur, chloroplast is required and it contains pigments called chlorophyll. Now let's discuss the major functions of a typical cell. 1. Cells facilitate growth in the body through the process of mitosis. 2. They also provide strength and shape to the body through the cytoskeletal framework. 3. They regulate the transport of substances through the semi-permeable plasma membrane. 4. Cells also help in the reproductive processes, such as cell division and transfer of hereditary material from parent to daughter cells. 5. Cells are instrumental in the production of energy by mitochondria. Prokaryotic cells lack membrane-bound organelles but eukaryotic cells have complex membrane-bound organelles. The two main types of eukaryotic cells are plant and animal cells. Most plant cells are larger than animal cells and contain a solid and thick cell wall, which is not present in animal cells. In conclusion, the cell, despite being the smallest functional and structural unit of a living being, is competent enough to perform all life processes that are essential for the survival of that being. The cell also contains various organelles that perform specific functions in various cellular activities. Thanks for watching. I hope the video is helpful to you.